The judiciary remains the guardian of fundamental human rights as well as arbiter of disputes among all levels of government. This is why many believe the judiciary ought to be independent so as to be free to perform its functions without fear or favor. Our correspondent, Babaji Deli, witnessed one of the panel sessions at the NBA Lagos branch, the Law Week, where stakeholders deliberated on the clamor for financial autonomy. President Muhammadu Buhari in May 2020 signed an executive order granting financial autonomy to both the judicial and legislative arms of government. The president's decision was met with commendation, especially from the judiciary, but state governors expressed concerns over its constitutionality and financial implications. The gazetting of the order was, however, suspended after the president met with the governors. This issue was again brought to fore at this year's NBA Lagos Law Week. Some of the speakers noted that the judiciary can actually be independent without financial autonomy, but observed that it is a combination of a mindset and financial autonomy that will create a real atmosphere for judicial independence. The issue of judicial autonomy is one that is almost a sine qua non. It goes without saying. It's not the answer, but it's not something that we should at this stage have to be worrying our minds about. We should expect that the judges should have an input into their budget, they should control their budget to the extent that they know that they're awarding contracts, whether they feel that it's new cars they need or new courtrooms or more courtrooms or more seats for the um, lawyers. Those are all things that judges, the judiciary, should be in charge of. In our history, the, the judiciary wasn't given the responsibility of dealing with all the things that they required to do as a judiciary. They still relied on the executive to take up projects for them and have all of these things done by the executive. And in spite of that, the chief judge could treat a commissioner that way and insisted that because he was equal in terms of the constitutional arrangement with the executive, he also deserved the same level of respect that the military administrator would, would, would expect from his own commissioner. Something that we need to look at, whether it's the politicians that are guilty, or is it judges who feel obsequious when they are given cars, or whether it's a judge who bows uh, before a politician. For the Attorney General of Ekiti State, judicial financial autonomy is not the same thing as judicial independence. From 1999 to 2011, the federal government has been given salaries and allowances of public officers uh, on four occasions, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 2000, 2005, 2007, and 2011. Uh, the judicial salaries and allowances have not been reviewed uh, throughout this period. So our judges, effectively, and I'm talking about high court, uh, superior court judges, our judges, effectively, have been on the same salary for more than 11 years. The question that continues to come up is whether the financial autonomy of the judiciary remains key to judicial independence or just a ruse. Babajideli, Silverbird News 24, Lagos.